Hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, before we begin today, I want to ask for your help. Uh, the ministry right now is in a bit of a tight spot. The world is a difficult place right now. And what we have seen just in the current tightening of things that have been around, that it is becoming more difficult for us to be able to continue to proclaim the gospel. And I can't do this without your help. It's all of our Faith Builder partners, the people who've gone into our website, set up for us to be able to do this every day by giving something every month to, to all of those people that I also call our Faith Builders who give from time to time. I need your help right now. And I sincerely ask if you could be generous in an extra way, or if you're not a, a Faith Builder partner, would you would consider doing that. I need your help to be able to bring Jesus to people and to be able to help marriages and to help people come closer to God, to help people in their work and to fulfill what God is asking of them. I can't do this without you. Uh, I'm asking sincerely, would you please help me? And I pray that the Lord will. You can go to this address on the screen or you can go to the Give tab and I'll pray for you. I am abundantly grateful to all of you. Thank you very much. Well, I recently gave a talk. Let's go on to our daily devotional. I recently gave a talk and in the talk that I gave, I spoke about the fact that I had been feeling a bit tired. And afterwards, a man who was in the audience came up to me and he said to me, he said, Bruce, we don't want to hear about you being tired. And I said, I said, what do you mean? He said, we just don't want to hear it. We want to listen to someone who's going to inspire us and, you know, uh, you know, rah, rah, excite us. Not someone who tells us that they are tired. And I get that. I appreciate that. And I realize that. But the daily devotionals are about our everyday life. And so if your everyday life, sometimes it's wonderful, sometimes it's tired, tiring. I've just been away on a, on a vacation holiday and I'm feeling very, very fresh right now. But prior to that, I was feeling a little tired and, and, and I realized that I, I, I began to think to myself, well, then I'd better be positive all the time. But the truth is being positive all the time is not real. We currently live in the middle of a series called Walking in Victory because of the resurrection of Jesus. Tiredness, which many of us experience at times in our life, Tiredness is not a sign of lacking victory. What tiredness is about is saying that we're human. My son, Joel, he's in his mid thirties. He has four children. The oldest is eight years of age. And he was saying to me, he said, oh, dad, he said the four kids, he said, he said, they've got things on at school. There's, there's parties they go to, there's sport they play, different activities they do. He said, that's tiring. They're house and the things you've got to do and he said then you've got your own work that you've got to do you've got your marriage and and he said he said life's just tiring and he and he wasn't complaining to me about being tired exhausted but just tired because it was busy I met someone only yesterday who said to me you probably can't remember what sleep deprivation was and I said, what do you mean? And they said, well, when you, know, when you have a baby, sometimes you're just longing for sleep because they seem to stay up so much at night. Being tired, whether you're someone who's older and is just tired, maybe don't sleep so well, maybe the aches and pains of life, uh, the things on your mind keep you awake, we can get tired. But, but tiredness is not a sign of lacking victory. Tiredness is a sign of her humanity. My grandmother, who was a beautiful lady, uh, name was Alice, and uh, she, I remember her when I was young, and in her older age, she was very tired, she slept much, and uh, she was beautiful, but she lived this very content, victorious life. And I think for her, uh, Psalm 73 verse 26 was very, very true. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Again, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. It's possible to be victorious and be a little tired. 
over the weekend, I, I, I gave multiple long talks uh, in, in a particular place, speaking at an event. And at the end of it, I was tired. I felt very victorious because of what God had done. But I was tired within myself. Tiredness is not a sign of lacking victory. Tiredness is saying you're human. And so wherever you are, know that God's strength and God's goodness and God's love is with you exactly in the place where you are. And, and, and I want to just encourage you to, to not allow your busyness, which sometimes life is, to steal away from you the victory of walking in the presence of God. Because as it says here, but God is, is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I came back from giving all of these talks <laughs> over the weekend when I was very tired and I put my head on the pillow and I remember lying there going, I'm tired, but I think I've done what God wanted me to do today. And I do feel victorious. We can all do that. And so wherever you are, know that tiredness is just means you're just human and, and, and it's okay. But, and that you can still be victorious and loving God with all your heart, with all your soul and all your might. Loving Father, I want to give you thanks today because you're so good. And Lord, the gospel tells us that we are victorious, that we are not defeated. Allow us, O oh Lord God, to experience your blessing and your kingdom and your ways right now in our life. And Lord God, allow some of us to uh, rest. Lord, I've just had a wonderful holiday. I feel very fresh. I just feel a little tired right now because I've been a bit busy. But Lord God, I just pray that we would have our eyes on you knowing that it is you that refreshes us and does your work within us. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, I love you all very much. Thank you for financially helping me. I couldn't stand here doing this and do all the things we do in the ways we do. Uh, for those in the United States, Canada, in the countries around there, the, uh, the Chicago event that will be held in June, the Catholic Guy Mission event that will be held there, the website for that comes out tomorrow. And so look out for that tomorrow. I'm looking forward to being with all of you. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God's never, ever far from you.